counts one. Uh, he, that might not put his hands to the floor, okay? X guard comes in two, and my, my leg at the top of the X leans into him, putting his hands to the floor. My left, my top X guard leg goes to the floor. My bottom X guard leg steps on the back of the knee, and I get up. So those of you that were here uh, Tuesday, look, he's, he, he just has better, a little better balance than my wife, right? So he's staying up. So this can happen sometimes, okay? He's just more flexible. It's, it's just what it is. So that's when I have to get up and get this other foot. Now I'm standing in front of his guard. Two on one, leg drag, and pass. He escapes the side control. Oh, do that again, sir. Bridge for me, please. He bridges, he hips to the guard, closes his guard. It's back up. Hands to the mat, grabs my head, hips out, knee through the space. Good clamp. I come forward, he makes the heel touch the knee, traps the triangle. I step up, he scoops, and finishes that triangle. Okay, so again, here we go. He took a shot, not a good one, or maybe I just did a good job. Elbow in the armpit, step up, sit through. I don't let him grip the hands or strip. Face, two on one, boom, he's square. So I just go right to the double guichi, slide in. He pushes the foot off, stretch, X guard, hands to the mat. Step, plant, up on my hands. Oh, look, this time, look, his knee is down. Can everyone see how his left knee is down? It might not stay down here. He might hop up. Boom. I grab the leg. Two on one, leg drag it over. I'll be gentle. He took a, took a couple diggers over the last couple days on a scooter and who else? Um. Somebody ran into him, so no, he's no, got. No, 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 I, I fell on um, some rocks from the bike. So he's got some. He's got some scars on his knees. Escape now. Look. So his mistake. Sorry, buddy. Okay. <laughs> was he just hipped out? Remember, I don't want to see just hipping out. Where our hands are in like a frame and we bridge. Now we hip out, and now we replace the guard. Boom. He swims my hands to the mat. Holds my head, through, clamp, knee, foot to the knee, trap the triangle. Now look, he never lets go of my head. I step up, spin, and tap. Same flow we've been doing, okay? With a pass of the guard, okay? With a leg drag pass. Any questions or concerns here? All right, guys, I've had it. One, two, three. Oh, hold on. Let's go. The thumbs up thing is what I'm trying to do. Everyone understands? Good. All right. One, two, three. Trav, what up, homie? That's the best. Let's try to get some of these ninja techniques. What's that? Try to get some of these ninja techniques. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. A lot of watching. Hi, Travis. It's Kim. Oh, hey. Nicely done, Shalane. Now it's just single leg. That's right. Good. Now you're right. Good, Mason. Yep, yep, yep. Mason, one more time for me. Go back to that X guard. Lay back down for me, buddy. So enter the Ashi. Go ahead. Good. Yep, so X guard, okay. Now you set up your feet perfectly. Go ahead, stretch her out. Put her hands on the mat. Good, now put your right foot behind her knee. Yep, step on it. Put your left foot on the ground. Good, now hold on. Is your right hand on the ground? Now look, just get up and base. Pull your right knee underneath of you. Go. 
Yes. Does that make sense? See how much easier that was? Now look, she's just down. Grab her other foot. Go. Yep. Pass her guard with the leg drag. Yes. Very good. Very good. I like it. Okay, everyone, stop one sec. I'm seeing this mistake a couple times. Everybody bring it in. Bring it in for me, guys. So both feet don't go in the X guard position at the same time, okay? The one is already there so that when they push your foot off, you have to be stretching them out. Let's look at what I'm talking about, okay? Because if I don't, he's going to back step, okay? So look. If we're in this Ashi position, if I, when he pushes my foot off, he's going to push, put his hand down on my leg, and back step out. Boom. Okay? So, go back. So, if I wait to make any off balance until I get this in, it's going to be too late. Because even if I get this foot in, look, he pushes this top foot down and back steps. Boom. Okay? So, go back. When I feel him pushing this, I stretch there. You might not get that big of a reaction just because I'm way bigger than him. Then I scoot myself under and put this other leg in and keep his hands on the mat. Can you get your hands off the mat? Not both of them though, right? I know. Not both of them. Then I get crazy and take his back. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> that doesn't work unless they're like, a third of your size. So, <laughs> um, does everyone understand what, what my, um, my middle leg did? You have to stretch them out for balance, because if you don't do that, they're stepping out. Make sense? Please don't try that back take thing. It's, it's a little different. That was terrible technique. You can take the back, but that was really bad. We'll, we'll do that another time. One, two, three. <laughs> IG Live, what up? Little class going on. Boom, little Zoom action. So I'm gonna keep this on today. So uh, yeah, I hope everyone can enjoy class. Uh, I got no followers yet, so I'll just wait. We're about to start a jiu-jitsu class here, guys. Well, we already started, and I'm gonna let you, I'm, I'm just gonna put, put it down here in a second so you guys have, are, are in as well if you would like. Thanks for jumping on. I appreciate you all. Good to see you, and I hope you're all well. Good. What's up, guys? We're going to start. My class has already started, but we are going to join in. Colton, who, what's your daughter's name? Is that your daughter? Oh, my gosh, yes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, my daughter's name is Maisley. Hi, Maisley. How are you? Nice to meet you, Maisley. You want to say hi? You want to wave? Thank you yeah. for the class. Look, I got, I got my kid with me, too. Everyone's in class with their dads tonight. Yes. All right. Amazing. What are their moms? We got Shalane and we got Shalane and Sam out there, mom and daughter. Yes. Oh, and then Melissa's over there with both of her kids. Yeah. Okay, guys, bring it in. Here we go. We are going to go back to uh, the difference now. We are going to change from uh, the sit through to the sucker drag. So here we go. You shot. You tried for sit through. Yeah, and for those of you that's your first time, we switched the side because we're gonna, he's going to go to the other side. He would love to still put his elbow in my armpit, but I'm using my elbow to clamp off his arm so he can't. So he reaches that animal hand up and grabs my tricep, the one that's in front of the shoulder. He squeezes his head away from his hand, steps up his left leg this time. So whenever hand's grabbing, the other leg steps up. Now he's going to circle and reach to my back as he pulls me to the mat. Go ahead. Boom. And now everything's the same, right? I strip the grip, face, and we go. So again. Here we are. He's trying to sit through, but it didn't work. 
grabs the tricep, squeezes the ear, steps up, pulls, goes behind. So, sucker drag, okay? You would love sit through, but now you gotta hit a sucker drag instead, okay? Because remember, moves don't work, okay? You have to have a series of things where they shut down A, then you go to B, then you go to C, and they can't stop all of them, you know? It's always the flaw of the practitioner if you can't find the right A, B, or C, okay? And generally that gets, what the reason for that is because we get so stuck on, I'm gonna do this move. Does that make sense? So we're going sucker drag, thumbs up if you've got it. Thumbs up, thumbs up. All right, one, two, three. What's up, guys? How's everyone? Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Good to see everyone on here. Good. Pull, pull, pull. Very nice, very nice. I like it. Good job. Good. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you? Good, Mason. Time is at 6.15, I like it. Good job. Perfect. Beautiful, beautiful. Good. Nice, Melissa, good job. Good. Uh, Mason, who's with you? I'm sorry. Maria, yes, go back. Go back to that clamp. Let me help you a little there if that's okay. So go ahead, make the same position happen. Good. Yes. Okay, bring your, yeah, okay, stop right there. Now, take your right leg, the one that's on top, and bring it in, bring your heel in front of his shoulder. Right there, boom. Now he's stuck, so, okay? He has to come forward towards you. When he comes forward towards you, now your foot comes through easy. Boom. Yes, switch your triangle up. Good job, scoop his leg. Yes, very good. Does that make sense? Perfect. Yeah. Who is it? Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, time, bring it in. So two things. One, uh, some, uh, my, my less skillful things. So I'm really not great at this. Uh, I love teaching, you know, and I, I love, I, I want everyone, I, I really like to make sure that people are doing the moves correctly and that I can help you. Um, but I understand also that this is over Zoom and everyone can hear me yelling at, telling you what to do. Um, so if that makes you feel uncomfortable, I'm very, very sorry. I will try not to do that the best I can. But uh, also, if you don't care, then you can just give me a thumbs up and say you don't care, right? Because not everybody else can see that, right? Um, so I can do it I either way. Like I can just let you do it on your own. But uh, if you want, you know, if you want to go thumbs up real fast, just let me know. And then I, okay. So if that ever changes, and I know if that ever changes, you can always message me privately. Um, I try not to do it too much, but I get really excited too. Um, so my bad. I'll do my best. And if you just have some space for me sometimes too, okay? Um, guys, we are going to go now from Ashi, from, from, uh, from X guard to cross Ashi. Okay, so that, I'm sorry, yes, which is gonna entail us going from X guard to reverse X, then to cross Ashi. Most of you that have been here with me already have done this, some of you have not, okay? So let's look at what we're doing. I have my X guard, okay? You understand what I'm doing, yes? Yeah. And I put his hands on the ground, 
But look, one of the things that I want to do is I want to really be able to attack a little better. Okay? Is I want to be able to attack. I really like using uh, sweep, uh, leg, leg entanglements to sweep because rather than just regular sweeps, there's nothing wrong with X guard. Okay? And if I was in a tournament and I had to score two real fast, I would do it. But I would much rather entangle the legs. Because if I can entangle the legs, he has to worry about two things, the sweep and the finish. So I'm going to grab up this hand. And as I grab up the hand, I'm just switching my feet up and down. He's going to start recovering his head over me. When he does that, OK, I'm going to extend him up and pull my knees and pull my knees towards my face. My bottom leg of the reverse X now slips through and gathers up his leg and sets him down. Can everybody see my right knee right here, the one I'm getting? Yes? The mistake in this position is you let it do this. You let it go to the butt, his butt. It has to stay on the chest, okay? When it goes to his butt, I've made some back exposure. Here he comes. He's starting to come around. Does everyone see that? Okay. When I'm here, uh, put that, that way a little bit. When I'm here with the knee on the chest, can you get around me? He can't get around me. And now I have leg exposure too. We're not going to attack the leg today. We're going to put the wedge in, put our hand on the mat, come up, leg drag, and then the rest stays the same. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, let's spin this way. So you're over here. So I've made my X guard. His hands are on the mat. Okay, I give a little more stretch and I reverse my X. I'm grabbing his hand. Here he goes. He starts to recover. Okay, now look, if he's standing up very tall, reverse X is not going to work. You have to go back to the Ash. Okay, so person doing this, don't stand up tall. I need him to stand up down with his weight on me. Yes? Okay, from here, extend, knees to my face, rear leg, under leg, slips through, so I gather up his leg, set him down, wedge, and up in base. Sorry, Instagram, my bad, the phone fell. Uh, there went, there went, nobody's on Instagram Live anymore. <laughs> um, any questions here, guys? Thumbs up if we have it. If you need it, if you need me, come holler at me, okay? One, two, three. My bad, Instagram Live, phone fell. Hope you're all well still. Whole flow still, yep. Good. Looks good. Very nice. Shalane, you've been working. I like it, girl. That was smooth. Good, Maria. Yes, keep that knee there. Very good. You see the difference? Very nicely done. Good adjustment. Pass that guard, Matt. X, uh, leg drag, right? On your feet. Good. One more time for me, Matt. Go back for me, my dude. So, her feet are on you. What we don't do is stick our hips away. When you stick your hips away to leg drag, they're gonna move their feet. They're, yes, so as you grab the two on one, hips forward, go, yes. That's what we have to make happen. Good job, good job. Okay, good. Nice, Salo. You improved that as well, good work. Yes, nicely done. Good.
Josh, who's with you? Your part, uh, well, tell his name in a sec, Josh Rivera. Uh, your partner, put that right foot on the ground. He wants his right foot on the ground here. And then hip out. The other way, the other way. Go the other way. That's your left. Go the other way. Yes. Now, there it is. Bring your left knee through the space. Good. Make your heel touch his shoulder now. Right heel touches his shoulder in front. Good job. Now pull your left leg through for that triangle. Very good. Yep, 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 yep. Hey, there we go. All right, guys. Looks great. Let's go on to the back. Okay, bring it in. So we know it's coming, right? Always a review of, uh, you guys want to bring it in, Melissa? Good. Always a review of the basic attacks that we have to have down pat when you're on the back. You have to be able to trap hands first of all, okay? And let's remember, why are we trapping hands? We're trapping hands to create a deficit so that I'll have one hand free and then he'll only have his chin or his neck and that's not gonna win. Okay, that's why we're trapping hands. And then after that, we're gonna choose the submission that they give us. We always wanna first be running after that rear choke. Okay, the rear triangle. Secondly, when they run from the rear triangle, triangle, we're going to the rear triangle. Okay, so rear choke, rear triangle are the finishes, but they come from the trapping of the hands so that we create a deficit. Yes? Okay, I'm gonna set it up a little differently this time of the trapping of the hands. I'm not gonna go straight across grips. We showed it a couple weeks ago. Okay, so here we go. Now, I have his back, okay? I have a seatbelt grip, but he's taking this hand, his free hand right now, and grabbing my arm, okay? Just like this, so that when I fall to the side, it's hard for me. I can't get under and grab. There's nothing for me to grab, okay? I'll put your head to my shoulder a little bit more than the other one. Your hair, his hair is too big, they can't, I'm talking right into his hair, okay? Now from here, I'm gonna switch to straight grips, or same side. I'm gonna grab his left hand. He's still gonna be holding my right, okay? I'm gonna remember, don't try to do anything other than extract the elbow and point your pinky to the sky. Hold it tight. Hold my arm tight here. Extract the elbow. Look, nothing, right? Is it because I'm bigger than you? No. No. Now, I switch to two straights. And from the two straight position, I go to the cross. I let go with the left. And I, oh, I'm sorry, I let go with the underhook hand. And I grab a cross grip. The other hand, look, if he's doing that, then I'm going to come and choke. But he's not going to be. His hand's got to come up but he can't hide it, so I trap, okay? From the trap, cross the feet. I'm trying to be nice to you, okay? Okay, choke one, he slides down. From the down slide, I grab the arm, pull the arm up, roll to the other side, give a little hip out, lock the triangle, hand on the chest. So again, okay, here I am. Sorry, I have my Kimura grip, he grabs my arm. Put the foot on the hip, fall over. I realize that I'm not gonna be able to go cross grips. Straight grip, extract, grab, two straights. Remember, when we grab straights, what do we grab? Fingers. I'm gonna to switch to cross grips and grab wrists. Track, cross the feet. Choke, get your thumb on your chin. He slides down, cup the tricep, or if you had a Kimura, just pull it behind the head. Roll it over, hip out. Now look, nice and hand, his hand very high on my chest. I don't want that arm thing. So guys, just a quick tip. I don't want you putting your foot on the floor like I was the hipping out. It was only because of there's such a big size difference, okay? 
you put your foot on their hip. So what am I saying? Uh, when we're here doing this triangle, I won't find, I won't do it right with him, but the foot is on the hip. Don't put the foot here. Does that make sense? All right, guys, one, two, three. Uh, sorry, thumbs up first if you've all got it. If no, then all good. I have a quick question. Who's asking? Chris. Chris, go ahead. So when you trap the arm across the feet, do you have to be careful to keep the, your feet above the waistline to prevent them from being able to catch your cross legs? Okay, you know, so I'll go, we'll go over this, okay? So did I not go over this at all here yet? Oh, I did it on the video I made, I'm sorry. Look, so crossing the feet on the back. We're all, we've been taught, I know, from day one jujitsu that this is bad because he takes this foot, steps over, and now look, he brings this foot up tall, and now he, just right here, and now look, he puts his head to my chest and puts his hips forward, go ahead, heart, and I tap. So we've all been taught that, yes? However, the first thing I always do when I get on someone's back is I cross my feet. Because I see if they're gonna go for this. Because I will then just push his head forward. Because now he can't can get your hips back. He can't get his hips forward. See how he's trying real hard? I'll adjust my foot a little bit, let him go, and then I don't have anything. His head pops right open and chokes. Okay? So remember, I know it's hard to see because our size difference, right? But for him, it's okay, I'm gonna do it now. For him to finish my foot, he's gotta do that. Right? So look at the head. The head has to go back. Okay? You take their head and do this. They're trying to do this. They're like, oh, I'm gonna get it. You move your foot a little bit, and then you let their head go, and boom. You only get it once on everybody, though. Okay? <laughs> only one time. <laughs> you know, but after that, they're like, oh, you son of a bitch. Right? Like, it's a, it's a little bit of a trick. But I'm never worried about crossing my feet anymore um, for that reason. I do it right away to see if, I'm gonna, if they're going to fall for it. Yes? All right, guys. One, two, three. I should do that at the church. Um, really sure. See, what if you don't move your foot a little bit, that was going to break your foot. Yeah, yeah. Can you do me a favor? There's a pot of water on the stove. Can you go ask mommy to start boiling that water? Yeah. Good, guys. Ah, uh, Gus, I would prefer cross grips. Switch to cross grips, yes. Looks good, looks good. Good. All right, good enough practice, bring it in. So that's always what we're going for when we're maintaining the back, <clears throat> okay? So here we go. Regathering the back now like we did on Tuesday, okay? We're gonna start with the end, okay? The, the end of regathering so that that part will be easy and then the, the more complicated part, you already have the end of it, okay? So where we're gonna start with is Kanan sitting down right where he's sitting right now. And me on my knees behind him with a nice seat belt grip and my chin far over his shoulder so that I bent him. Does everyone see this bend? I don't, uh, I don't want you sitting back with your butt on your heels so that they're very upright, okay? You have to get this bend. From here, look, my left leg, my underhook leg, I'm going to move it over to the right side of his body. 
my other leg is gonna step up, okay? So that I move towards choking side. Notice, I am not behind him really at all, I'm on his side. Once I'm here, I put my hook in, I fall to that side, and now my other hook goes in, switch hands, and then I find the choke. <clears throat> so again, okay? <clears throat> Here we are. Seatbelt grip. Move to the choking side. Step up. Hook. Fall over. Switch hands and find the neck. Remember, their chin might be down here. So if their chin's down, we're doing mandible strength. Questions or concerns? Thumbs up. So what I want guys now is one person, I'll walk everyone through. So one person behind, seatbelt grip with the right hand, please. Move over to the left so that you have plenty of room to fall over. Good, seatbelt grip with the right hand. Your chin is over there, left shoulder, and you're bending them forward. No hooks right now, no hooks. You're on your knees, you're on your knees. Good. So move to the right. Go. So your left knee is behind their right butt cheek and your right leg stepped up. Put that right hook in. Fall to the right. Left hand to left hand as you put the other hook in. Put the other hook in as you make the grip and choke. Very nice. Switch, one, switch front and back. We're on our knees behind them with the right hand strangle arm. Sailor, move to your left a little bit, girl. You're gonna hit the wall. Good. Here we go. Chin's over the shoulder, they're bent over. Good, move to the right. Good, step up the right leg. Right hook in, fall over. Left hand to left hand as you put the hook in, and choke. Do it a couple times. Josh, I need you, Josh. I need you to move to your right more, okay? Do it, no, 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 when you're doing the actual move. Can I see you do it again? You reached your leg around too much. Switch, let me see you do it, Josh. So you're here, move to the right a lot, go. Yes, that's where you wanna be. See how much easier that was? Good. Make sense? Good guys, looks good everyone, looks good. All right, bring it in, everyone's got it, very nice. So that's the end, okay, that's the end. How do we get there? Here we are. I have his back with the hooks in, boom, boom. We're on choking side to start, let's say, and he reaches his hand down, and he, put your hand down, right hand down, to my leg, and he pushes my foot down, and he jumps out of my hooks. Rather than fight, how many of us have like held this hook and like, oh God, I'm gonna try to choke. Uh-uh, keep the grip tight, okay? Get your chin as close to your hands as you can. Leave the back. Walk away, turn to your knees. Here we are. Now look, most likely, he's gonna have his left knee touching his left elbow. So that I can't just take his back. Nope, left knee, left elbow so that I can't just take his back again. So I sit him up, move to the right, put the hook in, fall over, don't hit the wall and go. Does that make sense? Let's look at it again, okay? Professor of Mao. Okay? Because that's how all our Brazilian friends say it, okay? So here we are, seatbelt grip, we're on the choking side trying to make it happen, but he pushes my leg down, jumps out, rather than hold on to nothing. Chin tight over the shoulder, belly down, up on the knees. Sit him up, and now this is what we just did. Scoot him over, walk over, step the leg. Hook, fall over, 
Hook and choke. Now look, don't stop. After you choke him, let him go. And then look, he just does it again. Pushes my leg down, pops over, and boom. I do it again. So we're not gonna stop. Does everyone understand? So let's have one person on the other person's back. Hooks are in this time. Right hand seatbelt grip, please. Make sure you have plenty of room to your right. So scoot all the way to the left of your mat. So here we go. You're trying to, you're in the middle of the fight, you fall over the choking side, go ahead. You mess up a little bit. They step out of your hooks, so they step out of your hooks. Go, leave the back, keep your head tight. Get up on your knees, sit them up now, sit them up. Very good, walk to your right. Put the hook in, fall to the right. Yes, choke, let them go, they jump out again. Just keep doing it. After you choke them, let them go and they jump out again. Practice, practice, keep going. For fast, how are you? Caden said, if his left ear is deaf after this, he's blaming me, it's my fault. Cause I'm screaming in his left ear the whole time. <laughs> Uh, who else? Who else? Is, I, I have to pay for it either way, right? Well, if, you're, if you any injury you have, even if it's not my fault, I got to pay for it, right? Yes. So, <laughs> all right, guys, switch the front and the back. Switch the front and the back. Looks good. Start again and move all the way over to the left of your mat with a right-handed strangle grip, and the hooks are in. Good. Good. Okay, every, hooks are in, guys, sit down, hooks in, hooks in, sit down. Luke, put the hooks in. Good, okay, fall to the right, here we go. Fall to the right, they jump out of the hooks. You leave, keep your chin tight, keep your chin tight, get to your knees. Good, sit them up. Walk to the right, hook in. Choke, looks good. After you choke them, let them go. So you do it again, just keep going, keep flowing. Very good. Instagram live, I'm sorry, I can't really answer any questions, my bad. You can hit me up afterwards. Anybody on Instagram, any of the stuff that I've shown, you can just send me a message and I'll try to help you out and, and get some answers for you. Looks great, guys. Looks great. Great work, Kanan. Hell yeah. Way to get in there. Nice. Love it. Thanks. Everyone but you too, man. I got to get Ella in here. Keep it up. We've been hitting some mitts, right? A couple times a week, we're hitting mitts, working on our level changes to enter into the shots, doing some jiu-jitsu. I saw that walking with strikes the other day. I'm going to make Ella do it. That's hard, right? That's so hard. Love it. Good work, sir. All right, guys, everyone, bring it in. Bring it in. So, guys, we are going to do the same thing, when they, but when they fall the underhook side, when you're on the underhook side and you lose the hooks, okay? <clears throat> the only difference is, is you're going to have to roll them over. From, once you leave, you're going to have to roll them over to the other shoulder, okay? Because the sitting them up always happens from them on the choking side arm. What am I saying? Here we go. So there's a little more motion involved in this one. Here we are, boom. My head stayed tight. I don't have the grip. He reaches his hand down, pushes my leg, jumps out of my hooks. Here's the key, I have to have that head tight. If my head's loose, he's gone. At any point, okay? At any point through any of these, if my head is loose, he's gone. Right now, I'm perpendicular to him. This isn't going to cut it. I have to walk, okay, especially if my wall wasn't there, okay? I'd walk almost so I'd be in a straight line with him, putting a lot of pressure on his neck right here. Does everyone see it? I don't want to do it to him, but my hands would be locked, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? My feet would not be up on my mirrors, 
I would roll him over to the side, and now here we are in the same position. Sit him up, walk over, make it happen. So guys, my room is not quite big enough to make it work, but I think I, we, can, we walked through it really well the other day. But did everyone see how I walked right behind him so that like if you wanted to, you could put a lot of pressure on that neck. Does that make sense? Okay, let's go to it then, okay? Uh, one person on the other person's back. Right-handed seat belt grip still, but now you fall to the underhook side. Everyone fall to the left, go. You don't have their grip, you do not have their wrist. Let go of everything, no wrist control. They reach their left hand down, push your leg out, and they jump out of your hook. So you lay, get, lay your stomach, get all the way behind them, get all the way, yes. Now roll them to the right shoulder. Very good, very good. Get on your knees. Good. All right, you guys got it. But once you take the back, I want, go back to the, you're gonna have to reset, so sit them up. Good, walk to the right. Put the hooks in. Good, now let them roll to underhook side so it happens again. All right, Whitney, I'm gonna help you, okay? So roll to underhook side, it was a little off. Whitney, roll to the underhook side. Good, so he leaves the back. Go ahead. Good, now good. Get on your belly, walk your feet. So keep, walk to you, no, 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 no. Yes, walk to your right, walk to your right, walk to your right. Now get up on your knees. Now roll him to the, yes. Good job. Good job. Done. Guys, Kanan's got to go. Bye. Kanan, say thank you to everyone for coming to class. Thanks for coming. Okay, go ahead. Good, guys. Okay, let's switch front and back. Ball to underhook side for me. Good job. So we're on our left side. Good, they step out of the hooks. Good, leave the back and get all the way behind them, straight behind them. Put them over to their right shoulder now, go. Good, good. Walk to your right. Good, hooks in. Then roll back to the left after the hooks go in. Just roll back to the left and do it again. Nope, you don't gotta leave the back. Go ahead, or all good. Looks good, everybody, looks good. Keep working. Gus, you're having the same problem I had. Too small of a mat, sorry. <laughs> Put your feet up on the couch. <laughs> All right, guys, looking good. I like it. All right, guys, time. That's class. Bring it in. Good, I'd love to see everyone's faces again, if we can. Good, okay. All right, good to see everyone. Guys, thank you all very much. I appreciate your time. Um, so man, look, I get sometimes, and, and I, I know like, you know, Professor Amal's here in class today too, he jumped in. And a lot of times he and I, like we get put up on pedestals, like we're, like we don't suffer like you, like, like normal people suffer, I guess. Um, I, and I just like to do my very best to bring that back to the untruth of that, you know? Like, man, like, yes, we have this amazing community. He's the founder, I jumped in, and man, and we took it to something amazing, you know? Very, very amazing, all with you, but we aren't special, okay? We're just like you, so I'm like, what I'm, what I'm going to talk about is, man, 
couple for the last week or so on my Peloton, you know, you guys know I'm gonna get my Peloton. I love my Peloton, right? Man, I, I've, I've been, uh, I wear a heart rate monitor and I can handle, like I'm 40 years old. So like my max heart rate should be right around 180, but that's max, you know? Like once I start hitting the upper 160s, I start to, whew, you know? So I've been a little afraid. You know, I've been riding the bike and like at, when I, when I get, when I'm pushing the top level of where I feel comfortable, I start to have a little panic and like, I've brought it back down. Like, okay, okay, no, 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 this isn't safe or yada, yada, or what, whatever else I tell myself, whatever truth I'm trying to tell myself in my head, you know, where I'm putting a limiter on what I am capable of doing. Today, excuse my language to, uh, with the kids, I just said, fuck it, man. If I die on the bike, I die on the bike, you know? And I just rode and I just went and I wasn't afraid of the numbers shooting up towards 180. I just dealt with how I was feeling, you know? And I, I didn't let any outside surf, anything that's going on in my head, the story that I start to tell myself, get in the way, of what I was capable of doing. Now look, my body will shut down. My body will say, nope, that's it. You're done when you're done, right? It, it's, it will stop you. It won't let you kill yourself. Go ahead, jump in a pool, try to stay under there. See if you can do it. You can't, no, you have to tie something to your feet to, to make that happen. Nobody can drown themselves, it's not possible. You can't, I mean, I'm a healthy guy, so I can't ride my Peloton to death. Like, it's, it's not possible. There's nothing. If there was something wrong with me, that would be a different story, right? That would be a different story, but there's not anything wrong with me. It was me, my own mind, putting a limit on what I was telling myself I was capable of doing. And sometimes, right, we're doing, uh, you know, and sometimes we can do that right now, right? Oh, I'm stuck at home, I'm stuck at work, I can't do this. Da, da, da. Man, don't let anything put a limit on it. You're the only one that can check, you know, that can check that limiter box, you know, only you, no one else can do it. You can try to put it on your wife, your kids, your this, Corona, uh, whatever it is. No way, man. No way. It's all on us. And we can all choose to be like no limit today, right? No limit today. So, uh, I just like to share stories sometimes a lot of where I, I am coming up short and then how I can kind of get myself through them, right? Because I think it's very important that we all know that we come up short sometimes, right? It's, it's not, you know, everything's not great and everything's not perfect and, and, and everything's not even good or bad, you know? Sometimes I'm being a little less skillful and I come up short, I miss the mark. You know, I miss the mark of what I'm shooting for, but that's just an opportunity to hit it another time. So that's it, guys. We can turn our mics on. We can say hello, say goodbye. Thank you all very much. Good to see everyone. Thank you, Professor. Guys, as always, if you ever have any questions, Instagram's better. I answer more on Instagram. You know? So if you have any questions, hit me up on the gram, uh, and I, I'll try to answer them. Thank you.